what do I need to know about ventilator settings? Well, I'm gonna help you identify what the basic ventilator settings are, what your orders might sound like um, for patients who have respiratory failure or ARDS. So, so you might get a patient, you're getting a report, and the orders might sound something like this. They're on an FiO2 of 60%, they have a rate of 22, their tidal volume is 380, they have a PEEP of 18, and they're on assist control ventilation. That's the mode. So that's what the orders sound like. I'm gonna break each one of those down to help you understand what they are. The very first one is the FiO2. It's the fraction of inspired oxygen, fraction of inspired oxygen, and it's somewhere between 21% and 100%. If ever managed a patient on a 40% venti mask, then you know what an FiO2 is because 40% was the FiO2 for that venti mask. So you can expect that to be the amount of oxygen that gets delivered to your patient. The next setting is the rate. It's just the respiratory rate. How many breaths is the ventilator going to give to the patient? It's also known as the frequency setting, abbreviated little f on the ventilator. Because of the strategy of permissive hypercapnia for ARDS patients, you may see it higher um, the respiratory rate set higher to compensate for the low tidal volumes. And we've, we're providing you with another free resource on ventilator settings. Um, it's a webinar from AACN, and it's the standard versus alternative ventilator modes. What's the difference? And it covers the settings and the different modes. So if you need more information after this webinar, you can also look at that webinar. The tidal volume is the volume or size of the breath. So it's how deep or shallow you inhale or exhale. So what I want you to do right now is take a minute and breathe with me and take a big deep breath in. And then let's exhale it. Do it one more time, it's kind of relaxing. All right, that's your tidal volume. It's the amount that goes in and the amount that comes out. The amount that goes in is set. That's the inspired tidal volume or the inhalation. So that's the setting on the ventilator. And it's, it, we'll talk more about how we set it, but it's usually four to eight milliliters per kilo of predicted body weight. Predicted body weight, predicted body weight is the weight that you should weigh based on your height. Now, lungs don't change size just because you gain weight or you lose weight. So when doctors and providers order ventilator settings, they do it based on predicted body weight so that we don't damage the lung with much volume. Typically, you'll see it start with a six mil per kilo tidal volume, and then it'll vary from there based on their arterial blood gases. So inhalation is set, usually about 400s. So that's a pretty common one, a little lower than that or a little higher than that for most patients. Exhalation is measured. So what goes in has to come out. So if 400 is set, 400 goes in, and you should be able to see an exhaled tidal volume of 400. So now there's three things I think I've ta taught you that you need to look for on the ventilators. So I wanna just summarize them here for you. You wanna look for your peak airway pressure. You wanna look for your exhaled tidal volume. And you wanna know where that button is to deliver 100% O2 before you suction. So when you get back to your units, take that little list of three things and say to the respiratory therapist or ICURN, can you show me these three things? The exhaled tidal volume, the 100% O2 button, and I just forgot the third one. I'm gonna skip it. So they, they got it on the first one. All right, let's talk about the next ventilator setting. The PEEP is your positive end expiratory pressure. It's the pressure which keeps your alveoli from collapsing. Physiological normal that we all have inside our lungs is about five centimeters of water. What does PEEP do? Well, PEEP helps oxygen get across that alveolar capillary membrane to improve your O2 sat and your partial pressure of oxygen. Your O2 sat is the oxygen that's bound to hemoglobin and your partial pressure of oxygen is the oxygen dissolved in plasma. So in patients with ARDS, that PEEP setting usually is set higher and treatment can be up to 15 centimeters of water, but we're seeing in patients with COVID-19 that sometimes it's as high as 20 or 25. 
So it's the PEEP setting that helps move oxygen across the alveolar capillary membrane to help improve oxygenation. Now, the risk of using a higher pressure to push into those lungs is that it could cause barotrauma and result in a pneumothorax. So you have to be very vigilant about assessing your patient's lungs and assessing them in general to make sure that that doesn't happen. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the modes of patient. We're gonna look at pressure, we're gonna look at volume or a combination of pressure and volume that are used to deliver the gas to the patient. The thing that's a little confusing about ventilator modes is that the name of the mode is based on the manufacturer. So I'm gonna go over some of the most common ones used for ARDS patients to help you understand just a little bit about each one. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is assist control. Assist control is a volume mode, meaning the volume is set to be delivered to the patient and it's guaranteed to be set. So they're gonna have a rate set and a tidal volume set. They'll also have PEEP with it, but that ventilator is gonna use, um, the volume is going to be guaranteed to be delivered to that patient. So you might hear that they're on an assist control of a rate with 18 and a tidal volume of 350. What that means is the ventilator is set at a respiratory rate 18 and it will guarantee all 18 breaths will get a tidal volume of 350. If the patient decides to breathe, let's say 25 or 28 breaths per minute, those extra 10 breaths, so if he's breathing 28 and 18 are set, in this mode, the ventilator will also deliver the tidal volume for the patient's triggered breaths. So whatever breath the patient is getting, if it's ventilator triggered or the patient initiated it, they'll get the same tidal volume. The next mode is pressure regulated volume control, also known as volume control plus on a different manufacturer. This ventilator uses a combination of pressure and volume similar to assist control to deliver the breath. And in this mode, the volume is guaranteed with every tidal volume, just like assist control. But in this mode, the, pre the ventilator is smart enough to assess the pressure it's using to deliver that breath and increase the pressure or decrease the pressure in just small increments in order to guarantee that the volume gets in. It's a beautiful mode because it helps reduce the risk of barotrauma from those high peak airway pressures. But it's not available on all ventilators and so it may not be one that you see used. Airway pressure release ventilation is also not available on all ventilators, so you may not see this one used either, but it is commonly used for ARDS patients because it does not have as high of a risk of pressure injury or barotrauma. This mode does not have a rate or a tidal volume set. This mode is just two pressures and two time durations. So it has a high pressure at a high time. So maybe it's 30 centimeters of PEEP for four seconds. And then it drops off to maybe five centimeters of PEEP for one second. And what that allows is it allows pressure to push oxygen across the alveolar capillary membrane during the high pressure high time. And when it drops down to the low pressure low time, it allows the patient to get rid of the carbon dioxide and, and vent that out to the atmosphere. Now the patient is spontaneously breathing in this mode with their own rate and tidal volume. So you, the provider usually avoids neuromuscular blockade because there's no rate or volume set. The patient is doing their own ventilation, their own rate and tidal volume. And it's just two pressure modes. And then the last mode that's commonly used is pressure control. Pressure control has a set pressure to deliver the gas to the patient. It has a rate set, so you might hear a pressure control setting of 35 with a rate of 20, but the tidal volume is achieved by the pressure being delivered. So you don't set a tidal volume, you deliver the pressure in order to achieve whatever tidal volume that you're aiming for. On a ventilator, most of the ventilators commonly used in the ICU have that numeric readout that I showed you that was outside of the room in an earlier slide. Some of the other ventilators that you may see being used, such as the transport ventilators, may not have this readout. But if your ventilator does have a readout like this, you're going to want to ask either the respiratory therapist or the nurse to help you decipher where the information is. Part of the screen 
is patient generated information. And on the image on the right of your slide, the top portion, the top half of that screen is the patient generated information. The lower half is the settings. So what the orders were for what the patient needs. Where's the mode, the title volume, the rate, the PEEP. So you'll wanna consult again with that RT or ICURN to help you find the things that you need on that ventilator. 